more basically what synchronous clear preset as well as we have seen that where we use pre pre bar clear clear bar okay all those things we have seen in the last class so in today's session we are going to see what we are going to see basically what is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous counter first and then we are going to start with the decoding logic of your asynchronous counter okay so let us begin then so asynchronous counter it works on the principle of toggling operation always okay it will always work on the principle of toggling operation and toggle it happens in two mode only one in jk flip flop when input is one for both j and k input and in your toggle flip flop when t input is one at that time we have toggling operation so in asynchronous counter always you are going to see what you are always going to see either jk flip flop or t flip flop whereas in your synchronous counter it is based on the principle of next state equation so you can use any flip flop for the construction of synchronous counter okay synchronous counter you can use d flip flop t flip flop sr flip flop jk flip flop whichever flip flop you have you can use it so am i audible properly screen sharing is okay but am i audible okay so asynchronous counter i have already told you that asynchronous counter are either up counter or down counter with the help of clear and pre we can reset the counter at a certain state but the counting will be always either up counting or down counting okay but in synchronous counter we have seen we can take any state of counting like 0 to 1 then to 5 then to 3 okay and then again back to 0 so we have seen that we can achieve such a counting state in your synchronous counter why because synchronous counter it takes help of your next state equation okay so today we have is few questions few questions we have so okay let us see how many questions we can solve and then we will start with the decoding of synchronous counter okay so first this question solve this question so very quickly okay or else what we can do all the questions let it be so okay one more thing i have to say tomorrow we have one class but that class will be only for ec and electrical how many of you are from ec and electrical let me know once ec electrical ec no one else okay fine so tomorrow we will have class so that will be adc dac so only for ec only so only shruti will be attending okay so that is okay so what i will do i will give all this questions as homework okay i will send it to you this pdf after the class you can solve all the questions and then in the next to next class when we have this session so at that time we will do what we will solve all the questions first okay so okay now let us see what decoding logic of asynchronous counter okay decoding logic of asynchronous counter so you can see what that this is your asynchronous counter tell me one thing is this up counter or down counter up counter or down counter it's come on we can be very quick in this i have told you the trick see you are giving negative edge triggered and the clock pulses are taken from the non complemented output so different means this is up counter very quickly you can say what means are you guys revising or not tell me the problem 
So what is the problem? Let me know. Because if you guys don't say, this is the starting of your preparation. And you think if you are thinking that everything we will be able to do, that is not the case. If you are studying, you should study properly. So where is the problem? Why can't we answer it very quickly that, sir, this is a counter. And you should have told me. I have already told you the trick that look over here, this is negative edge triggered. So negative edge will correspond to minus sign and your clock pulses are basically given from your non complemented output. You can see at each, this, each of the state. So non complement corresponds to plus. So whenever there is sign difference, so at that time we have up, whenever same sign, we have down counter. So haven't I told you guys this trick? So this trick I have already told you. So where is the problem? I want to know. Okay. So let me and let me give you one question to solve. Let's see how many of you are able to solve. Solve this question and your answer should be given in like one second, five seconds. Okay. Worst case was. What happened is this question should be like solved within five seconds. D we are telling. What about others? So it is given in the question in the modulo six ripple counter shown in the below figure the output of the two input gate is used to clear the JK flip flop. So this two input gate is used to clear the JK flip flop. The two input gate is. So if you look over here, you don't even need required to determine whether this is up counter or down counter because you can see the, there is clear input present. So clear input means up, up counting. Why up counting? Because we will be clearing the state whenever this clear input is high or low, depending whether this is active low or active high. So we will be clearing the states of flip flop. So when we clear the states of flip flop, when it is up counter, we clear it from one to zero. Okay, fine. So this is up counter. Now look over here, whether this is active low clear or active high clear. This is active low or active high. This is active low clear, active low clear. Why? Because there is bubble, bubble present over here. And I have told you that active low, we can either represent it like this. I mean, sorry, I am making a clock over here, clock pulse. So active low, either it can be represented like this clear or clear bar or it can be represented like clear bar or it can be even represented like this along with clear bar. So whichever way it is written, this implies active low clear for normal clear. It should be written like this clear. So these are all flip flops. Okay. Flip flop. So I went wrong. Yes, this is active low. And if this is active low, we know what for active active low clear, we have to convert the ones to zero. So we search for one in your what in your up counter. So we have to convert the one to zero for this clear to be getting activated. And when is this going to be zero? See if over here, this is NAND gate. So this is modulo six. So modulo six up counter means what? one one zero this state shouldn't be counted when you are coming from zero 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 to one zero one so the moment you get this state 
this should go back over here the counting state should go back to 0 0 0 so for the first time you can see this two input it is one over here okay so that means what if we use a NAND gate then we will get zero if we use NOR gate what will happen we will get zero over here also but NOR gate even over here we will get zero why because one plus zero this is equal to zero so over here also we will have what we will have zero so that means NOR gate cannot be used and I have already discussed no need for even checking the option I have already discussed with clear clear bar either we use NAND gate so NAND gate is used when it is active low and AND gate is used when it is active high clear in the last class only we have done so option A is correct you can see in the last class only I have discussed this so where is that you can see active low NAND we are using active high and we are using pre in pre for active high we are using NOR and for your pre bar we are using simple OR okay so all this thing should be known to you now is this clear Raju you have some doubt So we have done this or not? Yeah, it's okay. I know you have considered it active high. So it's okay. No issues. Okay. So where was the question? We have finished this question. Okay. Tell me this question. See, they only make the question little bit complex for you guys to see. Okay. First, tell me whether this is synchronous counter or asynchronous second if it is asynchronous what is the counting state means whether it is up counting or down counting okay third okay third will be your answer <laughs> okay so tell me the answer So you are telling asynchronous good so if it is asynchronous either it will be up counting or down counting so okay tell me one more thing down okay you are telling me down okay how will your counting look whether it will be q4 q3 q2 q1 q0 or Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, A or B? A. Okay, fine, very good. So look over here. The five JK flip flop are cascaded. Okay, so you haven't given me the final answer. So give me the final answer and then I will explain. See, questions are very simple. Only thing is that you should have understood the concepts properly. If you have understood the concept properly, you will be able to solve all the questions or else it will look very difficult. So what is the answer? Two fifty kilohertz. So always remember to check whether the answer is asked in kilo or mega. 
okay so i have once made a mistake in 2020 when i had appeared for gate in this only okay so two marks were lost so look first question i asked you is what whether it is synchronous or asynchronous so you can see clock pulse is being given to the first flip flop and after that what is happening the output of the first flip flop is serving as the clock for the second for the third flip flop output of the second flip flop is serving as the clock and this is going on so first is what this is asynchronous if this is asynchronous it needs to be either up or it needs to be down counter so you can see over here that the clock is what it is positive edge triggered along with that your output is taken from where it is taken from non complemented part so that is plus same sign that means down counter so over here we will be counting down down counter and you can see over here that basically we have 1 2 3 4 5 flip flops so that means it will be counting from 31 to 0 so this is what this is mod 32 down counter okay mod 32 down counter fine so next i had asked you whether this will be the counting sequence or this so i have told you the flip flop that is farthest from the external clock that will be your msb so this will be msb this will be lsb so that means which option option e is correct now we need to find what five jk flip flop are cascaded to form the circuit shown in the figure the clock pulse at the frequency of 1 megahertz are applied as shown the frequency in kilohertz of the waveform at q3 so we need to find the output frequency over here so we know the frequency over here it will be f clock by 2 means at over here it will be f clock by 2 to the power 2 over here it will be f clock by 2 to the power 3 okay over here so this is what is asked f clock by 2 to the power 4 and at the last place over here it will be f clock to the power 2 to the power 5 now you can find f clock is given it is 1 megahertz so they are asking in kilohertz so f clock is what 1000 kilohertz divided by what 2 to the power 4 over here okay sorry i have done some mistake oh no it's okay so this will be what f clock by 2 f clock by 4 f clock by 8 f clock by 16 so this will be 500 by 8 or 250 by 4 or this is 125 by 2 or this will be what 62.5 yeah so 62 why are we getting 250 kilohertz what mod 5 what is mod 5 and why are you getting 250 kilohertz so 250 kilohertz we will get over here so this is wrong 62.5 kilohertz is the correct answer we will be getting at q3 so q3 f clock by 2 to the power 4 did we understand or not see i am getting to know that you people are not studying okay see i will not be telling that i am the best teacher i have delivered everything but whatever i have actually told you i am using that concept only okay so still if you guys cannot do if you cannot solve question so tell me where i am means where i am at fault 
okay and this is not good this is not good not good at all that such easy question this is a one mark question you are not able to solve is frequency of q not not same as that of clock frequency what q not why it will be same as clock frequency what is happening yaar what is happening with you this shows that you guys are not at all not at all you guys are doing what you guys are not at all revising so look over here over here this is your q not in the last question so if over here i was applying f clock you can see what here your time period is getting what it is getting twice so over here this is f clock by 2 and what is this this is qa so qa means at this point it is f clock by 2 over here it is f clock by 4 and over here this is f clock by 8 already i have explained all these things you can see over here in each of the places i have explained no 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 this is very very sad thing okay that still you guys are having such kind of doubt so this is very very bad means i cannot even scold you so still i have explained all the things and such kind of doubt if it is creeping up with you guys then it is very pathetic now means all these things i have explained you cannot say sir you haven't told us this and now you are asking us so i have given whatever i know and if still if you are telling me sir that output over here will be same as clock you tell me how can i digest that fact you can see everything has been explained over here So how can you guys even tell me that, sir? We don't know. We are not getting this. So if there is something new concept, then let me know. How many of you got sixty-two point five as your correct answer? Tell me. How many got? Anyone? Anyone you got with correct answer sixty-two point five? So where is that question? Yeah. Anyone? Chandana, Raju, Shruti. no one so this basically shows that out of you four guys nobody is actually revising or nobody is just worried about your future so i am coming i am teaching you guys simply you guys are sitting for like 2 two, two and half hours and you are doing nothing after that tell me okay last now last okay okay solve this question quickly solve this question
तो वॉट आंसर आर वी गेटिंग सी एंसर इट्स मोर देन वन मिनिट तो दीज आर ऑल मीन्स लाइक वन मिनिट क्वेश्चन इफ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द कंसेप्ट so now i know in the class that there are only four students present so i take means care that each and every one of you understand and after that also if you are not able to give me any answers then how is it possible answer anyone any option mod 4 okay let us check so what is given the figure shows a binary counter with synchronous clear input with coding logic shown the counter works as what is this counter so you can see over here that this is clear bar so clear bar means this is your up counter and clear bar clear bar so that means what this is what this is your x nor gate what x nor gate so x nor gate is zero when both the inputs are what both the inputs are different so q3 q2 q1 q not okay so we have this so counting sequence will be so let us assume this is y so if this is 0 0 0 y will be 1 next will be 0 0 0 1 y will be again one next will be 0 0 1 0 y will be again one because y is what q3 x x not q2 okay so now next is what next counting state is 0 0 1 1 so again you can see this will be one now in the next case this will become 0 1 0 0 now at this time whenever we have different states input states in your x nor output will be what it will be zero now the moment this is zero what will happen clear will be getting activated and all this q3 q2 q1 will again go back to zero so the next state will be what it will be 0 0 0 0 so now we have to see what we can see basically what that this is 1 2 3 4 4 so this is what? this is mod four, up counter. so what mod mod option b and and i guess Shruti and Raju have said mod four. so good okay mod four. means i shouldn't be telling good so one thing actually we skipped over here that is what that this is synchronous clear input and if you have missed this you have marked the mod 4 i have told if it is synchronous counter then actually the counting state is basically whatever we get in your asynchronous counter plus 1 or wherever we are switching the states that will be also your valid state that means this will be the counting states of your a synchro sorry synchronous clear input if this was your counter using asynchronous clear or clear bar then it would have been mod 4 but using synchronous clear or clear bar this will be what this will be mod 5 up counter this will be mod 5 up counter so the correct answer is option c option b is wrong so only one person have solved this question so this is the condition of your class now tell me with this concept with all this much if i explain you guys today this thing what asynchronous counter how are you going to 
means this is one of the most conceptual topic that we have and half of you are having confusion whether it is up counter or down counter so this even shows that you guys are not even solving questions because if you had solved questions then if you had doubt you would have asked me sir we are getting problem in this please you tell us what what we will do in this so none of you said me this is not how we are going to proceed i am telling you this this is not how we are going to proceed so i will pause let me ask see they have asked you there is one sequential circuit okay what it does basically it counts the inputs number of zeros and number of ones okay it counts your inputs number of zeros and number of ones in a k bit input so zk is number of zeros and nk implies number of ones okay number of ones in your what in your input bit so total input bit bit is what it is a k bit input so they have told you basically zk plus nk is equal to k so that is what will be there the out circuit output output 0 0 until one of the following condition is hold so the circuit will be 0 0 okay this output will be 0 0 until any one of the following conditions hold if one of the following condition holds okay holds true one of the condition is what first is zk is equal to nk plus 2 so if this happens what will happen your output will jump from 0 0 to 10 next condition is what if your nk is equal to zk plus 2 then once again what will happen your output will jump from 00 to 10 so this they are asking so this they are asking now what is the minimum number of states required in the state transition graph to represent this circuit Okay, so how can you represent? Yes, tell me. Uh, is it zero zero two zero one for the second condition? Yeah, zero one. Okay, zero one. So now they are asking, when means how many? You can see only these two conditions. For these two conditions, there will be transition. So first. tell me how many zeros means what can be the condition or what can be the number of diff sorry let me ask you once again what can be the all the possible cases over here okay possible cases so those possible cases you can get from this two equation look over here zk minus nk is equal to 2 and the next is what if i take this equation to so zk sorry this will be zk minus nk or zk minus nk is equal to minus 2 so you can see zk minus nk it can vary from 2 to minus 2 so this two conditions are given that your zk minus nk from can vary from plus 2 to minus 2 now this is actually specifying what this is actually specifying this inputs only input the condition on the inputs so now your difference in the input bit in the number of zeros and one it can be either plus 2 or it can be what it can be plus 1 or it can be 0 or it can be minus 1 or it can be what it can be minus 2 so if this is the case look how it can be so it can be like this zk is number of zeros so zeros can be like your input bit can be like 0 0 0 0 so over here if you see zk is 4 and nk is what 2 so zk minus nk is what it can be 2 or it can be like 1 1 0 0 0 0 your input bit can be like this also so at that time you will be having plus 2 
plus one when you will have so either if you put a one over here so this will be zero sorry this will become zero this will become zero so here i need to do what i need to add one over here okay so then it will be four minus three yes and over here also if i add one over here or at this place i will be getting the difference between the number of zeros and one as plus one so over here you can see two things are getting decided one is the number of bits you can see whenever we will be getting even number when do we get even number when we subtract two even number at that time only we will get even number and when do we get odd number we get odd number when we subtract an even number from odd number or odd from even so even number we will always get from subtracting two even number even minus e2 or e2 minus e1 okay and your odd number you will get when you subtract okay even when you subtract two odd numbers also you will be getting even number like 5 minus 3 if you do or 7 minus 3 you will always get even number but for odd number to get your either subtraction should be between even and odd or odd even so when you add one even odd so basically this number of bits this e or o these are basically zk and nk so k will be when you add even number and odd number you will be getting odd number and when you add two odd number or two even number you will be getting always even number so this is basically deciding even the number of bits and the difference in bit also is decided by this two equation so you can see basically zk minus nk can range from 2 to minus 1 uh, sorry 2 to minus 2 so now for basically decide uh, what i should be saying means for representing this five states i require what i require basically number of five means five unique state i need to either encode it like already this two states have been taken uh, which two states this state and this state this two states have been encoded as 10 and 01 now either i can encode this by 00 this by 01 and this by 010 okay so i can encode it like this or even i can encode it by 01 only no 01 i cannot do sorry already 10 means there is one more doubt over here hello yes tell me uh, can we represent it by using 11 11 so already why am i representing 0 as 01 01 has already been taken so this is 11 okay. so that means they have actually taken the concept of dummy variable over here just give me a minute i will make you understand one more concept okay so this is what this is mod 7 up counter okay fine so can you design such kind of counting state like this can you make one counter like this which has count states like this or even counting state like this
ओके लेट मी आस्क यू आर दिस टू जीरो सेम जीरो और आर दे यूनिक तो बेसिकली दिस इज द काउंट स्टेट यस दिस इज यूनिक दिस इज यूनिक जीरो और एल्स इफ दिस वॉज नॉट जीरो यूनिक जीरो आई वुडेंट हैव टेकन दैम सो लुक ओवर हियर वेरी केयरफुली आई हैव एक्चुअली कंस्ट्रक्टेड दिस काउंट स्टेट यूजिंग दिस काउंटर तो बेसिकली वेन आई एम काउंटिंग दिस स्टेट आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग दिस टू एज माई आउटपुट क्यू सी एंड क्यू बी दीज टू आर माई आउटपुट and this is my dummy variable okay dummy variable this is dummy variable so if you see so over here if you take so this is zero if you take just qc qb this is zero even this is zero this is one this is one this is two this is two this is three this is three so actually i am constructing it with mod 7 but here you can see that i am counting only what i am counting just uniquely three num four numbers 0 1 2 3 but each of the zeros are unique these two ones are also unique this two twos are also unique this two threes are also unique in this count sequence i have basically taken qc and qa as my output and qb is dummy variable so same concept is taken over here also i guess that this will be what if this is 1 0 this is 0 1 so out of this two okay 0 0 and 1 1 this state can be either 0 0 or 1 1 never take this two state because this two are what this two are your conditional state you can see so don't take this two either you can take this one or this one now if i ask you how many flip flops are going to be required for constructing this so what are you going to say see over here you have five states five unique state so that means three flip flop minimum three flip flop is required so this was one of the best question i have seen till now so basically i guess this is from computer science because i haven't seen such question anywhere in my btech also or in my mtech or any time i haven't seen such kind of question okay so this was one very good question very good question i will say so i am very sure if this question is asked to ec guys 100% of the students if one or two except one or two so i will not say 100 99% student will not be able to solve this question because such kind of question we haven't seen Okay so this was very good question